Ataka. Now, there was this case of devotees gathering around a temple in Raichur where people were gathered without even wearing protective masks. Now, there were no police officials in this particular location to enforce the COVID norms. Hundreds of devotees have ignored the social distancing norm to take part in this temple procession in Raichur district of Karnataka. These are visuals from a festival held at the temple in Raichur district where a large crowd gathered to participate in the rituals. The crowd, like I said, neither wore masks nor maintained any social distancing. The festival took place without any permission from the district administration. No police officials were deployed in the area to disperse the crowd or to enforce law and order. Let me, in fact, uh, try and go across to Shrija, who's tracking the story for us, bringing us those pictures. Uh, Shrija, if you can hear me, this is appalling to see that such a huge gathering as the pictures show us with people not even wearing the protective mask, this can be as dangerous as it gets for the spread of COVID-19. Tell us how uh, did, you know, this thing, how was this allowed to happen? Isn't there a rule that prohibits gathering of people, even if it is for religious purposes? Well, that's right, Afre. In fact, uh, we have seen where an order that has been passed by uh, the Karnataka government, which categorically mentions that uh, there should be no temple processions. And it is only now that we understand that religious institutions have already opened up. But remember, there are certain protocols to be followed. However, no, uh, in fact, permissions have been given, especially for uh, carrying out temple processions. In this particular case, where we see uh, in Raichur, in a particular village uh, called Gaudru village, uh, we understand over Thousands of people had gathered right at that particular point uh, to carry out a temple procession. They were offering, they were seen offering prayers. And you can also see the visuals are, in fact, testimony to the fact that there was no uh, police deployment or, for that matter, any district officials had gathered at that point in time to ensure that they are uh, in a position to disperse the crowd. But what we hear from uh, the locals of this particular village is that for over two hours, this entire procession went. And until then, uh, even the uh, in fact, Gaudru police station limits also had, uh, even though they had information, but what we understand, there was no cops at that particular location to disperse the crowd. Now, we can go, going by the visuals, the images, what we understand is that several people who have gathered there, you can see they're jostling and also not wearing masks, and most importantly, and uh, not maintaining social distancing. Now, this is coming at a time where Karnataka, remember, that was lauded for its model, has completely lost, it, lost its plot, considering the fact that the state is reporting over clearly one and a half lakh cases. Back to you. Right. And in Raichur, uh, I was looking at the figures. It's something like 1,845 active cases. So even if a couple of people test positive there, contact tracing of all of these people will have to be done. That is the kind of challenge that this gathering poses. And of course, health hazards and uh, safety hazards for all involved. Thanks for joining us, Rija, with the latest inputs on the story.